this week's vlog, we are headed out to Virginia for the International Horse Trials. Um, both River and Jax are going to be the ones that are going, and they are both running the three star. Sure. Um, we're leaving tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and we won't be home until really early on Monday morning. So we're gone for about six days. And I'm going to show y'all how to pack for a long haul with two horses. So let's get started. All right, so this trip we are taking the big rig, our massive six horse head to head trailer with the um, space unicorn is what we're going to be driving. So normally we are going to be, we, if we were only hauling two horses, we would normally only be taking the two horse trailer, but it is in the shop getting a new axle <laughs> put on because the um, spindle, spindle was bent on it and so we had to replace the entire axle. So it is not in commission for this trip. So we are taking a massive trailer for only two horses, but that's fine. So um, this packing video is gonna be a little bit different than if we were taking the two horses because obviously we have a lot more room now. So I will do a different how to pack for a small rig in a different video, but let's get started on packing for this trip. So first things first, we are gonna pack the horse's feed. So we are taking three bales of, um, or three bale bags of hay. Um, we have one already at the trailer and then we have these two and then we will also be packing individual hay bags, like hay nets, um, for inside the trailer and for when we arrive to Virginia. What did I just say? To Virginia. So what you wanna make sure you do is you have packed the feed that you're gonna need on your trip, on your haul, that's easily accessible. And you're also gonna to wanna to make sure the feed for whenever you arrive is easily accessible because the first thing you do whenever you get to a new place is you get the bedding in the stall, you get the buckets hung and you get water and you get the feed in. That way the first experience in the stalls is positive, relaxing, and you can just put them in and that's it. That's all you do with them and let them decompress after their long haul. So we're going to get some hay in that hay bag and load the hay in the trailer. So let's get going. Okay. You don't have to use video right now. Mm -hmm. put it in a bag is so that you can already have it pre-opened. It makes it a lot easier to get the hay out and put it in a hay bag when you're at the event. And it also, these hay bags are water resistant, so it helps protect your hay against bad weather or anything from getting to them. Now we are going to take them on over the trailer and get them inside. I also recommend getting the one with the wheels. It's much easier. Alright, so we've got the hay nets made and we're going to take them over to the trailer. trailer and get it all organized once we see everything we need it's a lot easier to see to visualize how to get it in okay so welcome to my super messy feed room but we are next step is going to be getting our grain and our supplements made and ready and getting our buckets out to our trailer so first things first we are going to need six buckets for the stall so one two three four five six Plus, I take one extra, maybe two. We're just going to go with it because it wants to come. 
just going to set it down out here. Okay, so next is going to be making the grain. For making the grain, we are going to use our trunks and our boxes. So we're going to make up and have accessible inside the truck tomorrow night's feed and Wednesday morning's feed, morning's feed. The other days, um, how many days? We're gonna have Wednesday night through Thursday night in this box, and then we're gonna have Friday morning through Saturday night in- Saturday morning. In that box, Saturday morning in that box. So, the best way is gonna be organization. Organization is key when it comes to traveling. So, for us, these two lids mean that it's morning grain. These two lids, these two lids mean that it's evening grain or dinner grain. So whenever somebody goes into the box to grab feed for that day, they know which feed to grab based on what the lid is and what name's on the lid. So let's get to making some feed. Okay, so normally at home, River and Jax get the exact same morning grain, but at a show, Jax gets cutescence, which is a helped calm his nerves at shows um, and his morning feed, so we will have to separately label their boxes. But first, I just start with putting one scoop of grain in each box. So. Okay, so key essence is magnesium oxide. And I love this because it's FEI legal, it's USDA legal, it's USEF legal, and if the body gets too much of it, all they do is just pee it out. It's not harmful to them at all if you accidentally overfeed, and that's why I love it so much. So we are going to just... Okay, so when I don't have a lot of horses going, and I can, and I have enough lids, I like to just do one horse gets one color lid and one horse gets the other. So for this trip, River's gonna have the silver lids for the morning breakfast, and Jax will have the turquoise lids for morning breakfast. So this one is River's, and this one is Jax's. And we're gonna pull that piece of duct tape off. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish up the morning ones, and I'll show y'all once I finish that. But for now, I'm gonna show you how I make my evening grain, and then we'll put all of them in the boxes when we're finished. Okay, so we are gonna do the blue handles, AKA the clear lids for River, and the no handles, AKA the white lids for Jax for this trip. Um, first thing I do is I, they both get full scoop of grain, but we're only gonna put a half in, and then we're gonna put the supplements on, and then the other half, and then the other half on top, so that way the supplements are in the middle and the horses don't just pick around them. So we have got half a scoop of grain and a half a scoop of grain. And now we are going to start over here with our smart packs. And both horses get one. So there's there's Jax. Then you just toss it. And then only Jax gets Q essence. And they both get one pump of Actiflex. I'm gonna finish doing all these boxes and then I'll put them in the trunks and we'll pull them out to the trailer. Okay, so we've got our boxes packed with a night feed, morning feed, night feed, morning, night, morning. And uh, we also are gonna throw in a couple of our Electroplex electrolyte paste. We like to give them one whenever we arrive and the night before cross country to make sure that they drink enough water and stay hydrated. 
and because these boxes stay at the stalls when we are there, um, we just keep our electrolyte paste inside our boxes. Alright, now we are ready to close these up and take them to the fridge. Okay, so we've pre-made feed through Saturday morning, so we'll still have to bring one bag of grain and our pre-made uh, supplement or like our supplements in some small containers for on the road. So we are going to this is we use just this little bottle for our ActiveLex liquid. We only have to pack for two nights, so we just need four pumps since both horses get it. I always put a couple extras. And then we're going to put some extras just to be on the safe side. Because even when we come home, we can still use this for here when we're at home. Um, whatever's left over. So we have that packed and then we put it in this old amplified box when we are done. Um, so now we are going to get our super sport. So this is a half a cup here, so we'll need four for the two nights, plus a few extras. That's enough. And that's enough, because I did keeping spoon. And don't forget to take your measuring cup with you. It won't fit in this container, so we'll just put it in there separate. But. We're going to just set these right here so that we can figure out how to pack them in later. So now we've got our smart packs and we're going to grab a few extras and shut the door. Okay, that's getting a little full. Now we have, this is for Jax's key essence. So he's going to need... So he's going to need two mornings and two nights at least, plus a little bit of extra on his quiescence. So one morning, two morning, three morning, four, five, six. Yeah. And River. don't forget your measuring cup. Oh, wait. River doesn't get this. Oh, that's right. Come on, Emily, you'll fit. There you go. Alrighty. So now we're going to pack our supplements into our Actiflex container. Alright. Did I say Actiflex? I meant our animal. Our scoop for our grain that we're packing in our bag. And now, okay, and our final necessity in our feed room is our licket box. And here I have two, one granola, two granolas for each horse, and two sugar lickets for each horse, and along with several of my licket treat bars. And we're also going to pack a Himalayan salt lick and an extra classic liquid holder just in case and take this with us as well to the trailer now we're ready to go okay so we have packed these two slots so far this slot we have our scooter and our bike um and they are bungee then so they won't move and then in this slot we have our free hay bag uh hay bale bags and uh two hay nets for when we arrive to Virginia, our grain boxes, supplement box, licket box, and our buckets. Um, so we're going to call it a night because it is pitch black outside and our pile that was on the ground is now gone and we will update y'all the rest in the morning. Okay, hey guys, so it is the next day. It's nice and sunny out. 
Um, so the first thing we're gonna do today is get the trailer in the back ready for the boys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put pellets down where they normally pee. That way it absorbs the pee a lot quicker and it makes less of a mess for them. Um, and I just moved away the clean shavings that we had remaining in the trailer so that I can get to the middle. And then I'm going to put those shavings that we have there that's a little bit older on, right on top. And then each horse will get half a bag of the fine shavings from Tractor Supply. So let's get cleaning. have both the horses shavings done so now I'm gonna make sure they have full hay bags and full waters and then we'll be done with the back of the trailer and last we cannot forget the boys lick it. it's gonna be a warm trip this time so we've got the Himalayan salt and then for River we've also got some sugar lick it as well to help keep his energy up so let's go hang these for the boys uh, in the trailer Okay, it was getting way too hot out here, so we had to go change, me and mom, but now we've got our shavings, so we always like to bring our own shavings, especially whenever you're leaving early and you're going to be arriving early, in case if the venue hasn't um, been able to deliver out all the shavings orders yet, you can go ahead and bed your stall down and get your horse in without having to worry about finding somebody and chasing somebody down. So we've got the shavings for both horses, we got pellets small flakes and big flakes we mix our stalls so we do pellets where in the middle where they're going to pee and then we do the small flakes and then the big flakes helps with uh, making your stall easier to clean but also giving your horse ample bedding to lay down on and feel comfortable so then we also have our muck bucket and all of our rakes and uh, lastly we also have our these are gas cans but they have only ever had water um, in them and we take these with us to all the shows um, especially when we're doing long distance traveling. We've got two for each horse um, to be able to refill their buckets whenever we stop at gas stations. Um, we like to give our horse free choice water on the trip. I find that my horses drink better that way um, as they, they're more relaxed and calm and feel more comfortable. Especially we bring our own home water that they're used to drinking. It has the normal flavor and taste. So all those things combined together, our horses drink really well in the trailer. So let's get to loading and start finishing this packing trip up. Okay, so now we've got our golf cart loaded up with all the things that we needed from our tack room in the barn, and we are gonna take all of this and put it in our trailer. We've got my two jump saddles, my massage stuff's already in the trailer, um, our washing equipment, my hacking saddle pads, and our jump bridles, and um, we have already got all of our grooming bag stuff with all my sprays in it. Um, and we've got a few girths, but we also have all the other girths on here. And then all of the other stuff is in the house or already packed in my trunk. So let's get to moving. Okay, so now my trunk. My trunk holds pretty much everything for me. So on this side, I've got my grooming box and under it is my braiding kit. And then these are my schooling tall boots so that I also use for every day. Here's my fun bonnet bag. Um, and then this is my cross country helmet. These are some extra wet wipes, a hand brace, my everyday helmet, towels, and then in the middle I have my stud kit, my studs, my cross country boots. And on this side, you can see this box right here, it has my treats, my lickets, my dressage boots, show jumping boots, and then we have our bridle racks and halter hooks. 
and we've got our banner from all of our sponsors and our deco pony stall swag in here and it holds it holds a lot of stuff for us but it's all packed and ready to go so now we're gonna load it in the trailer all right so we're all packed up and ready to go we got all my saddles my vests are behind my Vera Bradley with my gloves and my hair nets we got the horses show halters with their plates on that's my show clothes and my show coats all the bridles and the breastplates boots all that kind of stuff that's my mom's laptop we got all our saddle pads we got all of the blankets coolers and fly sheets that we're gonna need back there and we got our suitcases are the last things to go in and we got the two boys all loaded up there's and there is our most important is our boys all loaded and happily eating their hay thank you guys so much for watching this vlog if there's anything new that you learned in this packing tutorial and that you're going to actually use in your new packing routine please leave a comment down below and let us know what it was if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that like button and remember to always stay wonderful